Good morning and welcome to Kid News. I'm Tori. It's Tuesday, April 13th, 2021. And we begin with teenage climate activist Greta Thunberg, as it's pronounced in her native Sweden, announcing she will not attend the next international climate talks unless everyone on the invite list can be vaccinated equally and participate safely. The annual event, which was canceled last year, is scheduled to be held in Glasgow, Scotland in November. The 18-year-old tweeted, Inequality and climate injustice is already the heart of the climate crisis. If people can't be vaccinated and travel to be represented equally, that's undemocratic and would worsen the problem. At the moment, there is a big gap between who's been able to get a shot and who hasn't. The New York Times reports three quarters of vaccines have gone to the world's richest nations, while only 0.1% of doses have been given in poor ones. Get ready for a growing selection of fancy face masks. The Wall Street Journal reports there's a new wave coming on the market with special sensors to potentially kill any virus before you breathe it in. And others are offering facial coverings with high-tech options. A couple examples? The video game company Razer is working on an N95 medical-grade mask with a built-in microphone and amplifier plus internal lights to illuminate your face. And musician Will I Am just unveiled his Zuper mask, made with the help of the company Honeywell. It promises a secure fit, a strong air filtration system, plus, of course, earbuds with a noise cancellation feature. Not surprisingly, it's not cheap, with a selling price of $300. After years of inactivity, a volcano on the Caribbean island of St. Vincent has exploded back into action. The La Soufrière volcano erupted three times on Friday. Fortunately, about 6,000 residents living nearby were warned to evacuate the day before the eruption, which sent a huge plume of smoke about two miles up into the air and hot lava flowing down the side. The Weather Network reports the activity was so powerful that the shock wave was visible from space. Much of the surrounding area is now covered in a thick layer of gray ash, and there's a strong sulfur smell in the air, so people with breathing issues are warned to stay indoors. The last time this volcano erupted was in 1979, also on the second Friday in April. Prince Philip, Queen Elizabeth's husband, who died last week, was involved in many different projects, but by far the most important and far-reaching endeavor was an award he set up for teens and young adults. It's called the Duke of Edinburgh Award, and it involves a set of challenges for young people to help their community and the environment, plus they need to complete an outdoors expedition, which will improve their physical and emotional strength. The prince was inspired by his boarding school in Scotland that emphasized personal growth and exercise as much as academics. The award began 65 years ago and is now set up in more than 130 countries around the world. Any 14 to 24-year-old can take part, and it takes at least six months to complete. In animal news, some good news about an endangered species. Currently, there are only 360 North Atlantic right whales in the ocean. But 17 babies of this type have been spotted in the last four months. And according to the Fish and Wildlife Research Institute, that's more than were born in the last three years combined. Scientists hope this will be part of a pattern of more whale births every year. It's confirmed President Biden's rescue dog, Major, is getting a tutor. After biting at two different staffers, the family decided the German Shepherd needed extra help getting adjusted to life in the White House. The new training is expected to last a few weeks and take place somewhere in the D.C. area. That's it for Kid News. A big thank you to all our generous donors who help keep the only daily podcast of news just for kids free for everyone. If you'd like to make a donation that's tax deductible through our fiscal sponsor, Independent Arts and Media, just go to our website, www.kidnews.org. Now, our Kid News Quiz. Who says she might skip the international climate talks this year? Teenage activist Greta Thunberg. When was the last time the volcano on the Caribbean island of St. Vincent erupted? It's 
in 1979. The Community Environment and Athletic Program set up by the late Prince Philip is called what? The Duke of Edinburgh Award. Where is President Biden's dog Major headed? Out of the White House for a few weeks to get more behavior training. In one for the road, fairy doors have been a thing for a while, but during the pandemic, they've really taken off. What's a fairy door? It's a tiny, colorful portal, often the size of a hand, that is placed at the bottom of trees, fences, benches, anywhere that might convince a fairy family to move in and or to simply spark happiness for the person who finds it. One community that really embraced this trend is Alameda, California. Fred Hagenboom and his granddaughter started making the little doors about seven years ago, but in the last year, dozens more started popping up with increasingly elaborate designs like hinges, doormats, and rock gardens. Alameda's not alone. Newport, Kentucky, Asheville, North Carolina, and Washington, D.C. are all reporting a fairy door boom. Before we go, we want to give a Kid News shout out to some of our terrific teachers in their classrooms, starting with Mrs. LaValley, whose advisory class loves Kid News at Gower Middle School in Burr Ridge, Illinois. Mr. Hool at Skyline Elementary, Go Skyhawks in Daly City, California. Mrs. Metzger at Holy Cross Lutheran School in Cleveland, Ohio, who say thanks for keeping us caught up on the news. Ms. S. at Hopi Day School on the Hopi Reservation in Kayakotsmovi, Arizona. And Mrs. Hines at North Polk Central in Alamant, Iowa, where they listen to Kid News every single morning. Thank you. We love our loyal listeners, and we hope you tune in for more Kid News tomorrow morning.